on Monday. Now, with all the technology available, keeping your kids safe from online predators can be a scary thought. Well, KSBY News reporter Steve Adamson is live in the San Luis Obispo News Center with some advice from a local expert. Good evening, Steve. Hello, Danielle. Well, we spoke today to a local mental health expert who runs programs for the San Luis Obispo County Education Department. He says there are important steps that parents can take to keep their kids safe from online predators. From chat rooms to webcams to texting, technology is a huge part of most kids' lives today. It's easy to see how a young person can become a target of Internet predators. You know, one of the patterns I notice is that... Um, young women who are attracted to older men tend to be ones who have difficulty uh, making relationships with age-appropriate peers, with their own peers. Most parents' understanding of the modern communication world lags far behind their kids, and that's a problem. I guess as parents, you know, what it means to be a parent now means to have a, a certain level of tech-savvy ability. To be more in tune with what's going on in their kids' lives, parents should think younger. Kids are exposed to dating, sex, drugs, and alcohol much earlier these days. Don't underestimate your kid's ability to figure out computer systems. They're very smart at getting around safeguards. And be proactive. Assume your kids already are testing the waters in the Internet and texting worlds, so let them know you're watching. And finally, stay focused on their daily routines. Make sure you know who your children's friends are and talk to their parents. Find out what they're doing. Um... You know, it's just kind of a general rule. The more free time that kids have, the more likely they are to get into trouble. And one other thing parents can do if they find a questionable text, sit down and talk with your kids and find out exactly what was on their mind when they were either sending or receiving that text. We're live in the newsroom. I'm Steve Adamson. Back to you, Danielle. Okay, thank you, Steve. And we've put a link to an online resource for parents on our website. Just go to ksby.com and click on News Links.